Okay, now I'm going to talk about events. And an event is just an occurrence of some action. And the easiest way to see what an event is, is to go to this Microsoft Excel Objects folder and then double click on the This Workbook module. And when you do that, and you change this drop down to Workbook, you'll have some code that automatically pops up. And it automatically pops up because there are default events that are written for you. Um, you just have to write the code to do whatever you want to do when those events happen. So this event, that the default event that pops up is the workbook open event. So this is the event that you open the workbook. And where, you know, what is this drop down over here? This drop down contains other events that are related to the workbook. So when you open a workbook or when you uh, activate a sheet in the workbook or do all these other things like in the workbook when you uh, activate the window or resize the window you can write code uh, to do something when, whenever someone does any of those events so let's see some of this in action let's see an event in action um, when the workbook opens let's just put a message box message box you opened Excel and then that's all we want to do just to show you what an event is so I'm going to close the workbook now over here. I'm going to close it. Click Save. And now the workbook is closed. And what's going to happen is that when I open the workbook again, the open event is triggered, and that code I just wrote is going to be executed. And we're going to see a message box. So there's the message box. And that, was, that, that happened because the, the, the opening event happened. And that's all an event is. So it's just an occurrence of something. And when I say something, here's all the somethings. You know, the opening of, of the workbook or before you double click a sheet or before you right click something. I mean, there's so many events in here. You don't need to memorize any of this stuff, but they're available to you. And this is all defaulted. This is all default code. So you don't have to write the code for these events um, like if I don't know what this oh so before close if I double click this if you double click any of these events in the drop down you get this code that pops up for you and you can write code then real simple you know you can write code to do stuff in here the main point is that these events are, are written for you you can write your own events but most likely you won't need to because a lot of them are written for you already by just double clicking in these drop downs over here um, now let's look at a different example if I if I change a sheet in a workbook uh, you could use this sheet activate event so here's some code that popped up again it's really cool because I don't have to worry about writing this code or which parameters or anything like that so let's look at this this uh, this uh, workbook underscore underscore sheet activate that's the name of the event um, this shouldn't look too odd to you you have a sub here that looks like a subroutine so it's just like a subroutine this private means it can only be uh, accessed within this module Th that this subroutine can only be accessed within this module this by val means you can't change the value of this parameter so this is a parameter sh sh is a parameter and what kind of parameter is it it's a object parameter we we haven't talked about object parameters yet um, but they they are things like uh, a range or a cell you can you can put those into variables and we'll talk about them in the future but for right now just know that this object is going to be a sheet object. Well, it's going to, it's going to contain a lot of things, and, and we'll see that in a second. But right now, you just need to know that it's there's a parameter. Its name is sh, and its data type is object. And this by val means you can't change the value of whatever's passed in. So how do we how would we use this? Um, let's put a message box that says you change or your new sheet is 
So there's my text and I put it in double quotes and then I put an ampersand and now I can access some things on this uh, sh variable or this sh parameter. Oops. Um, I can access something I could access the name of it by using this dot name and we'll see that in a we'll see what that is in a second but if I go here to my workbook and I just change a sheet I get a message box that says your new sheet is sheet 1 that's because I selected sheet 1 if I select sheet 4 I get a message box that says your new sheet is sheet 4 uh, if I select this sheet name goodbye I get a message box your new sheet is goodbye so that's all an event is. It's just um, it's just an occurrence of some action, and you know we've seen an action could be opening the workbook, or an action could be changing the worksheets, or changing a worksheet, and we've seen that it could be all these other things too. Uh, I mean, you could look at them or Google them. There's tons of them, and. There are also events related to the individual worksheets as well. So if you write code here, for if you have events here, this is related to the workbook. But if you want to relate events only to a sheet, you can you can look at look at that here. So if you go changes from general to worksheet, you get a worksheet underscore selection change, and this only applies to the sheet one, right? So this code. It, uh, it has to do with when you change a selection. So we can do something like this, uh, message box uh, new selection and target dot address. So what this does is, you know, this, this event Again, it, it looks like a subroutine because it has sub and the private makes it only available within this module here. So it's only going to be available within the module. This is the name of the event, selection, you know, worksheet underscore selection change. It has a parameter that takes that is a range object. That's the data type. Um, the name of the parameter target. The by val again means you cannot change the value of this target in this code. So you cannot try to change it. The value of target, but you can access things of, of that parameter. And one of the things you can access is the address of the new selection. So let's just see how this works. And you'll 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 understand this more in future videos. But here's a sneak peek. Um, when you go, and again, this only applies to sheet one. This event only applies to sheet one. So if I go to sheet one, and I change from okay, there's the there's the uh, message box that says I changed the sheet. But now on sheet one, if I change my selection over here, I get this message box that says your new selection is B22, and that's because I selected, you know, B22. If I change it to, if I click OK and change it to B21, I get this message box that says your new selection is B21. But watch what happens if I go to the goodbye sheet and I, and there's my message box for changing the sheet. I can change selections, but I don't get message boxes. Because that code I wrote over here, you know, worksheet underscore selection change, it's in the sheet module. It's not, it's not in all the sheets. You know, it's not here in the goodbye sheet. It's only in this sheet one, right? So you can see that you have events, and they're associated to the worksheet, or they can be associated to the workbook. You know, and there's all these different types of events that you can just double click these objects over here whether you want your event to be associated with a worksheet click on that go to worksheet and here's all the events associated with this worksheet or if you want to do uh, events associated with the workbook like opening it or activating the sheet you can select the drop down for workbook and then here's all your events associated with a workbook but that's all events are there again uh, uh, there are a place for you to write code when something happens. So that's all I want to talk about now. And right now, you know what an event is. You know what 
a subroutine is and you know what a function is and those are uh, the, the huge build blocks that now we can start moving uh, quicker and we could start getting into some deeper things and that's what we'll do next